wedding, complete with dragons and Norse gods, will be part of the magic that groom Daniel wants to create for his bride-to-be, Tian. We're getting married under Nordic law and we're going to do it in a Viking-style wedding. Here we go. I chose that because I am Norse and that's the religion that I've felt my whole life, really. I could see you and your six foot, however tall you are in that. It's something Dan believes in and I'm still learning more and more about it every day. Definitely as I go through it, I think a lot with the gods is still what I need to learn about, um, but it definitely does intrigue me. Wow, check it out. Like any good Viking, Dan spends a lot of time away from home. He's a mine worker and he depends on Tian to hold down the fort and look after their little daughter, Sophia. I'm really lucky to have Tian here by my side and to make it work, I don't think I could do it without her. I'm gonna get ya! <laughs> Although Tian is not yet a believer, Dan has convinced her that they should get married under pagan law, and that meant finding a pagan celebrant. And there's only one in the country. I'm Shay de Monford. I'm Australia's last religious pagan marriage celebrant and I believe in magic. And Shay believes that the ceremony site must be very carefully chosen. So she's guiding the couple to find the perfect location for their pagan wedding. It's just so beautiful here with these beautiful big trees and all the liquid amber and these big pines. Pines are very Nordic. You've got one each side. Fingers crossed yeah. the weather stays nice and, and beautiful for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well, you know, we'll do a little bit of magic. We'll make sure. Right. <laughs> I have a very good record with good weather. OK. Just Without perfect. Shay, obviously, I couldn't do it. Couldn't be legally married this way, and she's the last one. With the location sorted, Shay now needs to discuss pagan wedding rituals with the couple. Paganism is a big umbrella, and you've chosen to have a Nordic, Nordic wedding. wedding. Yep. So tell me what your vision is. Why Nordic? Why Why is Nordic for you? And I know it's more your tradition, Daniel. It is to It is my tradition, yeah. yeah. It's just true to me. So do you want the gods to come into your ceremony at all? I would like Thor and Odin, um, Freya and Freya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Doing I thought right. you might want Thor in there. Thor is the god of thunder and lightning. Hopefully, he won't bring bad weather on the day. Dan and Tian are getting married under pagan law. We've gone traditional with the dragon head. And like any good Viking, Dan is getting a head tattoo by friend Marlo, who's a tattoo expert. I've got a lot of hair, kid. I've done plenty of Nordic tattoos, but I haven't done a Nordic tattoo on somebody's head. I know I'm in for a bit of pain, but, yeah, more than happy to, to go for it. I can't dig deep, so I've just got to keep going over and over. Getting your head tattoo is an extreme. It's one of, like, the top four or five most painful places. And it's not only really painful, it takes a really long time. Dan will be here for three hours. Dan's actually done really well so far. We've just gotten to a couple of more sensitive areas, though, and you can really tell when the client's struggling because the, the muscles were tense and the skin gets a lot tighter. Dan wanting a raven, a dragon, and a, a rune. Um, so he gives me the ingredients and he lets me cook it up myself to give it old school Viking for him, but with a modern twist. I'm so excited for Dan. It's my wedding gift to him and Tian. Alrighty, Dan, we are done. It's great. Goes with the hairstyle. That looks great. What do you like? I think that's about what you're going to get out of him, to be honest. The sun peeks out from behind the clouds for Tian and Dan's pagan wedding day. But bride-to-be Tian still has concerns. I'm a little bit anxious about the weather. Last night we had a fair bit of rain, so hoping the rain stays away and all our coats and everything else should keep us warm. But fingers crossed the weather stays nice and sunny. Well, rain or shine, the wedding will go ahead.
The wedding is about taking vows, not just with everybody that's present, but also with the unseen realms as well. So we're calling in the dev whoop, we're calling in the gods that they want to have here. So we want to let the gods know that there's going to be a wedding, and can they please come and be present and be witnesses to this wedding and, and bestow their blessing. To encourage the gods to come, Shay cleanses the area of negativity. Seems that negativity can be found in odd places. And the weather? Well, that's looking positively awful. It is good luck to rain on your wedding day, just not on the ceremony itself. So we'll just see how it goes. It could be a big blessing, but maybe not the blessing they want. <laughs> Now, Shay's opening a portal for the gods. I mean, paganism and hedonism is presupposed on the idea that there is an unseen world that parallels ours. So with that parallel, sometimes you just have to open a doorway a little bit for them to come through and be more present in the, in the realm of matter. And then Shay finds the perfect cord to connect with the gods. That sound that I make, that harmonic overtone, seems to come out of nowhere. I'm making a bass note. And that other overtone comes out of the other realms. And the sound seems to come in through that other dimension. And as it comes in, it allows other things to come in on its wake. So that's what we're doing, just opening up. So we have an appointment with spirits, so we're just letting them know that we're ready. Hopefully the gods will make it in time to stop the rain. Gods of Asgard, Odin, Thor, Freya, Frigg, Frey. Today, a wedding takes place in your name. Please bring them every blessing. Come, we welcome you. The gods have listened, and the sun is breaking through. It's good that it's sort of holding up and going back to blue now. And as the guests arrive, Shay becomes more confident about the weather. All right, thank you very much for coming along today to celebrate the union of Tian and Daniel according to their deeply held beliefs. So, with the gods smiling down, let the ceremony begin. Elemental forces of North and Fire, the Asiya, the realm of the gods, and Asgard, we ask that your representatives be here with us today to bless this couple as they enter this new life together. Hail and welcome. Seeing Dan's face and seeing his attire and everything, it's, yeah, this idea that we've had it, it's here, it's happening, it's right now. So it was, I was ecstatic and nervous all at the same time. <laughs> Immortal love is the underlying theme of Norse mythology. Frigg and Odin are the perfect married couple, and we have asked them to bless this ceremony here today. And then, this rain isn't the blessing they were after, but Shay stays positive. Very lucky to have rain on your wedding. It is. I take you to be my lawfully wedded wife. This is my wish, my will, and my desire. What's hail? We got it. We got it. I do hereby call upon everybody, seen and unseen, to do all in their power to aid. What's hail? Loki, we thank you for your blessing of the rain, but it's enough. We got the point. Thank you. Looks like Loki feels left out. 
forgot to do the Loki invocation and ask him to come and bless the wedding. And he punished us for it. It's never anything nasty. He was just the trickster. And the bride and the groom got married and they got baptised as well. <laughs> I'd like to present to you Mr and Mrs Pot. Would you like to kiss the bride? The newly married couple have had a very wet lesson by the gods. And now it's time to get dry and celebrate. Oh, we're feeling great. It's sort of, yeah, it rained, but we sort of added to it a little bit. And I mean, it's all a beautiful moment for us, and that's what we, we wanted. Please put your hands together and welcome Tian and Daniel Pollock. I think it was awesome. I think most of us have all dressed up, and it made it fun for us. Like, when you go to a normal wedding, it's lovely. But you're just sort of watching, whereas we got to participate, and it was super fun. Marriage is three equals. I stand with you, not for you, not above you, but with you. <laughs>